Hey, how's it going? I'm Ron. I'm Zach. And we have returned for a long-awaited episode of Influences. Had a few weeks off there, huh? We certainly did. Although we did try and do one a while back ago. Something went wrong. So, we decided we are going to make it up and uh, try and keep it at least slightly more consistent than previously. But, who's to say? Yeah, we kind of thought we would uh, try expanding the, the format here. We've gone through a lot of bands and um, always looking towards covering other bands and such and we will be doing interviews with bands once we get out playing with them. Definitely. But uh, there's a lot of uh, ground we haven't covered and today we wanted to talk about uh, some perspectives about creating one's own music and being one's own um, visionary force in the music scene. Um, so we've been having some really good conversations about this stuff lately and I say, you know, we should just talk about this because I think people might at, at the very least find take some, something from yeah, it, you know? get some inspiration and take something from it and, and uh, apply it in their own ways. I guess the whole point, uh, well, I'll let, I'll let you start this off, Zach. Well, the whole point of uh, our message and uh, our influences, I suppose, is to uh, influence or inspire, you know, uh, we were just mentioning how uh, some Greek philosopher, who I assume we are doing disjustice to for not remembering his name, once <laughs> stated, the most useful purpose of art is to inspire. And how true. Um, no matter what it is, if it's in, within your own art or within your day-to-day -day life, uh, music, art, whatever it may be, if it inspires you, it is truly valuable, we believe. so within your own art and within your own lives. Uh, we like to talk about the uh, different points in styles that you may take or you may leave and uh, somewhat how we go about doing such a thing and how one might do such a thing as well. Yeah, it's re you know, one of the things that uh that you see a lot with people that decide, there comes a moment for a lot of uh, artists, musicians, creative types, where they, they kind of ask themselves, do I have permission to do this? Mm -hmm. And um, Especially when, you know, you say you're an alternative artist or a rock artist, you think, uh, would it be appropriate for us to write a song in the style of um, reggae? Uh, that's not really factually correct, but as an example. Um, and a lot of the times, what pops into your head instantly is, no, we couldn't do that, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, taking a step back and saying, well, why not, um, is always the most important thing an artist can do. And we've definitely tried to stress that a lot because a lot of the greatest artists come from not saying, may I, but what if. Indeed. What if is the driving motivation. And, you know, that this kind of brings up a point that we were talking about just a little while ago here today was... Um, there's a difference, I guess, like some artists say, I'm going to study this style and I'm going to become proficient at it and then I'm going to study this style and they, in an effort to be well-rounded and mm -hmm. that's admirable. Um, but for the purposes of being an original artist um, or, or even backing off that and saying our approach has been in this style here, I like this, I like this, I don't care for that, I just, I just yes, let exactly. me have this. You know, it's, like, um, it's like a big uh, smorgasbord where you're just yeah. putting things on your plate that, that look appetizing. One of the most important things that we uh, kind of came to the realization of is that in different styles of um, whatever it may be, it could be your day-to-day -day life. You know, if you want to go to the gym but you don't want to adapt the whole personality of you know, the, the look or whatever it may be, the, the schedule, you say, what would I want it to be like? You know, what what is the ideal image of that for me? Like, uh, as a musician, you know, um, more specifically, as a rock and roll alternative musician, uh, if I look at a genre totally outside, like uh, flamenco or jazz, um, the objective is not to say, all right, I'm going to study flamenca and jazz so I have better understanding and can incorporate it into my music, but rather to say, 
to me, what is the ideal flamenca slash jazz slash whatever genre? And um, once you say that, um, you can listen to some if needed and take pieces, but once your main goal is to make it different from that and make it more suited to your tastes, you will inevitably come up with something clever or original just because it hasn't been done before. It's to your taste specifically. The, you know, I, I, I think it bears mentioning that um, obviously you want to know what style you exactly, are, you are yeah. rooted in. Mm -hmm. Like for us, it's always going to be rock. We're, we're, we love the energy of rock, Definitely. but that is a wide landscape. And so what kind of, you know, the more specific that you Which can be Which pieces of rock, you know, like, uh, are yeah. you going to be more like uh, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath? And, uh, Rush, and, and whatever, even more you know? specific than that, like which Black which, Sabbath, which Led Zeppelin, which both or you can, however many you can you like can... or not like whatever you want, and the and and if you give it a chance or you just go by your gut, the important thing is is that you are staying true to the ideals, and there's a there's a feeling in your gut that tells you this is this is what I, I want to apply this, um, and. A lot of that requires bravery. It requires that you, because it's very easy to be talked out of something once mm -hmm. you get criticized for it. And once people start telling you that, oh, that's no good, let, let, let us remove the suspense. You will be criticized. You will be crucified for your art. People are going to want to just deconstruct every dream that you have ever had so that they can say, see, it's too hard, that's why I don't do it. And all we can say is ignore those voices. Take it as something like, all the more reason why I should keep going. Yes. Oh, look I'm, at that, somebody no, doesn't like No it. going into it is gonna be like that. <laughs> yeah. you are, you're gonna get criticized. I mean, you're gonna get, like, people say, oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make this applicable to day-to-day -day life is a little hard. I mean, oftentimes, if you say, yeah, I decided to, you know, take piano lessons, usually people aren't gonna say, that's dumb, why would you do, but, yeah. you know, I mean, thinking about your hobbies, you know, if you try and expand into one direction or another, uh, it, criticism will inevitably come in a lot of scenarios and uh, you know especially when the whole message is be yourself um, you, you have to preserve that at the expense of you know having perfect public acclaim and um, you know when you especially when you do something as personal as taking bits and pieces from all sorts of different genres and styles which have been embedded into their cultures it's um, definitely hard to receive praises from all different sides you know but it is still the most valuable thing you can do even if it's not the most widely accepted mm. because the people that understand that it is true and it is personal and that it is different and unique because it is personal um, are really the best types of people to have and we're so thankful that many of you in fact dare I say all of you are such caring individuals. Well, you, you know, and that's a, that's a good point. You, like you take uh, Dave Grohl, uh, Kurt Cobain, or Nirvana, and Dave Grohl talks about. Um, he's very critical, as are we. Disclaimer, apology coming your way, <laughs> about the American Idol culture and this game show music culture, which requires. Um, that, which which basically just sets aside the whole um, individual creative mm. process, in our opinion. But all that aside, Dave Grohl basically says, you know, that's not how you start a great band. You start off and you suck a lot of the time. But yeah. that isn't the point. The, the point, point isn't is it? Isn't doing to be, it? You know, you're, you're having fun. Yeah, you, you're, that's a, that's another thing. Nothing's gonna stop you. You have to you enjoy know? this. That's yeah. the fuel. This is the, that's the fuel for your passion and for your getting better. And if you keep going, you're going to be better one day. You're gonna wake up one day, and you're gonna say, "Wow, man! Wow, God, listen to that! Look at that video, or listen to that recording when we first started out. We sucked, but Moe, those were good times, and they got us to here. And now we don't suck as much, or whatever. So no whatever matter what you do, be. I suppose our main message can only really be." Um, Take whatever you can from whatever you so have. I, I think we may have stressed that point before. But more so than that, 
um, always have fun with what you're doing and uh, take what you do as uh, you know your own personal endeavor um, yeah there's a guy yeah. named Derek Sivers and he used to own CD baby and he sold CD baby etc etc but now he blogs and he does many different things he writes but he has CD a baby being a um, independent artist distribution yeah he, he was the first uh, yeah. independent independent artist record label, uh, record distributor online um, but he has a he has a quote that it's just so great and it's if it's not hell yes it's no and when you are creating if you apply that formula to your instincts about your creative choices it will make things so clear if it's not hell yes why are you doing it well this is okay I guess I'll I'll write this I'll put this up no hell yes this is this is what I want oh man I can't wait to put this out there and finding those little gems and building on them and eventually the, the hell yeses start stacking up you get not more. to say you shouldn't always try stuff for a little bit but definitely by all means if we can leave you Absolutely. with anything if it's not hell yes it's no indeed so we just want we'll keep we won't ramble on about this but we wanted to put this out there in terms of influences are great but we feel that we can cover a lot more by talking about not only the influences but what they have allowed us to um, understand within the process of creating art and the process of appreciating art and music and uh, such and uh, we would love to share all that with you there, there is one thing that, that I that this makes me think of it and it's that there's two types of um, creative people that are inspired by other artists there's people that have their influences and they create a whole new thing that you're that like they say originality is hiding your source mm -hmm. so you don't know who their influences are or because you're listening to their music and you're like I've never heard music like this before and there's those artists and then there's the other artists who they wear their influences on their sleeve like you can watch or listen to Prince and you can say Oh yeah, Sly and this Family Stone, etc., etc. He had like Jimi Hendrix, but Little Richard. He's got all these influences that are so obvious to see, but he has still transcended his influences. And that is the point about influences: is to transcend them. You do you don't want to stay stuck in sounding like your heroes. You want to just take a page from their book. Your heroes broke off. They, they cut the umbilical cord from their influences and they went on their own journey and they were brave about it and they stood up for it. And a lot of times it takes, you know, it takes the team of your band members saying, yeah, dude, I know things are hard right now, but we gotta keep, we gotta keep going, we gotta keep believing because on the other side of this hardship is some great stuff. And that is true. And so it's all about transcending those influences and finding your own voice because that's what the world needs more of the world needs more of wow you can only get that there transcend your influences if it's not hell yes and no it's no be picky indeed <laughs> so thanks so much for uh still being here and we want to just um plug our pre-sale for our new cd which is coming out on may 18th friday may 18th um and we will be doing our CD release party uh, about a month after that. We On are coming, coming. June area. Yeah, June, uh, and we will be broadcasting that live. So we will be announcing that. But if you would want, if you would like to pre-order the album, we have worked really hard on it. It's our third release. It's the first album that Zach has ever played on. Considering and, uh, I was around four yeah. when the first album came out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, <laughs> by the way, Zach just had his 14th birthday, and uh, he's coming into his own as a musician, and I would love for you to hear his work on the new album, and we're all proud of everything that, uh, that mm -hmm. the new album is, and uh, we just want to keep moving forward with this music, and thanks to you, we are able to do that. So, um, thanks so much, and uh, till next time. Keep on rocking.